Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Doki Doki Literature Club. It's time to get back to these side stories. Ever since that mod we played, the update to Doki Doki Takeover, that, that was incredible, by the way. Like, I know I said that in that video many times, but that was just so incredible. But they had side stories, and that made me think, Oh yeah, we didn't even finish the side stories in this game. So, we're going to continue that right now. Let's do this. Alright, this is, I think this is where we left off the last time. It's been several weeks since the club has officially started. Wait, I'm not even ready to click. What am I doing? Through their initial setbacks, the three club members so far, Monica, Sierra, and Yuri, have increased their collective bond within the club. Sayori has partaken in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature, and all three of them, led by Sayori, have taken an interest in poetry. It's like, <laughs> I had to stop for a second because, like, now I, read, I feel so much, like, I feel so emotional reading this because that mod literally changed how I feel about this game. Like, I already loved the game, but it was, it made me really, really have compassion, more compassion for this game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track we need to be reading this on a day like any other the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the club do club room door opening and in, and in walks a girl none of them has seen before nobody <laughs> you know I knew it was not Suki but the fact that none of them has seen her before y'all don't notice her she goes to the same school y'all not seen her once anyway how y'all doing, by the way? Hope y'all doing good, having a good day, good weekend, or weekday, whenever I post this. Alright. Hi. Sari tugs excitedly at Monica's sleeve. Yuri shifts in her seat and buries her eyes in her book. Yeah, you know she's scared. She don't like new people. Are you here for the literature club? Yeah. Yay! Oh, that's great! Thanks for stopping by. It's kind of a small club still, so it's really exciting to see new faces. Yeah! Come and sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Sarah prances over to her desk and presses her palms into it. <laughs> She's like, Bruh. yeah, right here. Sit right here. Oh, and Yuri can make you some tea. Uh, uh, Sari, don't mention stuff when I'm not even ready to meet this girl. Yuri looks up at Sari in protest for having drawn attention to her. Nasuki silently glances between everyone, then sits down next to Sayori, and Monica follows by, sitting nearby. The sudden gathering prompts Yuri to stand up, deciding that standing in the corner and making tea doesn't sound so bad after all, so she can get away from the tension. Okay, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay. Well, I'm Monica. I'm the one who started the club. I was originally in the debate club, but I really wanted to do something I felt more passionate about if that makes any sense. So I started the literature club as a way to people to express themselves through writing or reading or whatever other kind of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. I have what vibe? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, like, never mind. What she? I'm not gonna judge people I just met like that. What was she thinking though? Like, that makes me wonder, what the hell were you thinking, girl? Very adult-like of you. I always judge people so hard. Oh no, you don't, Sayori. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Yuri's saying something from the background. We can't even see her. Yuri's deadpan voice carries across the room. Natsuki giggles. I'm Sayori. I just like learning about every everyone and making friends. Oh, and I also like poetry. Oh yeah? Very adult-like of you, this girl. <laughs> I am an adult. The sound of Yuri's electric kettle steam up fills the room. Oh, and that's Yuri. Sari lowers her voice. She's kind of shy, but she's really nice and super smart. She likes big fantasy books and tea. And I love her. Well, I guess that leaves just me then. I'm Nasuki. I like listening to music and hanging downtown and stuff. And my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Ooh, let's get some ice cream! My favorite flavor is probably cookie dough. 
How was she able to freak it? No, don't skip that. What was it? Or maybe chocolate? It's cookie dough. How does she guess that? On point. And Monica is probably vanilla. What the heck? I take way too many online quizzes. The ice cream ones are always so accurate. What's your favorite then? Nasuki Shrugs. Probably green tea. <laughs> I'm just joking. I actually have no idea for Yuri. Like, I, I don't even know. Still, it's pretty chill here. Do you just like to hang out or do you actually do club stuff? Well, we do club stuff too. It just hasn't been very structured yet since we only have like three members. So we kind of just loosely spend our time doing the stuff we like. But I keep thinking about it's time we start things with like some more structured club activities. It's been a while now since I started the club, so yeah. How long has it been actually since she started the club? Like we don't know exactly like how many days it's been. Well with that being said, what kind of literature are you into Nasuki? Anything you'd like the club to get into? Well, I guess I'm into literature. Well, I like manga. Manga? Hey, why you say it like that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I want to read some manga in the club. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. That sounds so great. Like, after all, I've been doing all this. Um, Yuri turns to the desk with a tray of teacups. Where she sits down at an empty desk. I know what she was about to say. I've been known on this reading that I really can't keep up with. <laughs> After all the deep and immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing something a little more simple. Yeah, she that's simple and that's freaking dumbing it down. Manga isn't simple. If you think that, you just don't understand the nuisance nuance. I, I didn't mean simple like that. Wait. Well anyway. Putting a manga aside, is there any kind of other kind of literature that you're interested in? Like, come on, you gotta be serious here. Well, not really. In that case, have you considered the anime club? Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club. It's full of weird guys. Come on, is it that big of a deal? Manga is literature, right? That's her favorite line. Um, I mean, I guess if you consider the literal definition of literature then technically I get it I get it look I'll do whatever club activities you want can I please just join I won't bother anyone if I can just like keep my manga here and hang out after school I'll do literally whatever you want me to do that's fine right no uh, I don't think she's very like happy about what you just tried to arrange yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my gosh! Thank you! You're the best! I have it most of it crammed in my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it, okay? Nasuki stands up. You need some help? Nah, I got it. I don't want you to see my locker. <laughs> if you say so, but there's no way it's worse than mine. I hope we never find out then. Nasuki ex exits the club room, leaving everyone in silence. Save for the sound of Yuri sipping her tea. Ugh, I'm such a pushover. Hey, it's not that bad. Nasuki seems like a lot of fun. Maybe, but I mean, she has like no actual interest in literature, you know? And that's normally fine, but she says she would participate in club activities like it's some kind of obligation. Her tea is gonna get cold. Yeah! Wait, that's not even related. Well, I think everyone deserves a chance. Like, come on, y'all gotta think about this here. Like, come on, get your head in the game. Especially if we could bring her happiness. Besides, maybe she'll take a liking to literature. Are you sure you just don't want to read her manga, Sayori? Who do you think I am? Sorry, I didn't mean that. I kind of did, though. I just feel really uneasy about this. Do you have any opinion, Yuri? Not particularly. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. That also includes me, so I should be fine. Does that mean I bother you? N no. You're a pleasure to be around. <laughs> I was just fishing for a compliment, because you know I need it. I know. But still, I really think we should give her a chance. Yeah, alright. 
But I really am going to start enforcing club activities, so y'all better be ready. I'm willing to cooperate. Suddenly, the three of them hear a thump against the door. What was that? Sari stands up and walks over to the door, then opens it. <laughs> Thank you. Carrying three boxes of what presumably is manga, Nasuki grunts and wobbles inside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack onto the floor as gently as she can. That's quite a collection. Three stacks? Like, damn. Sari giggles in excitement. While catching her breath, Nasuki replies, There's still one more box. I can put them away myself. I know how to organize them. I don't know what y'all could do. Monica anxiously glances between Sierra and Yuri. Is this really okay for the club? Maybe it's what she needs to really kick the club into gear before everyone gets too complacent. It seems like things are finally starting to get more serious. Yeah, you got more people. I mean, that's what I would think. You got more people. So it's going to get more serious. Okay, this is the next day. At the next club meeting, Monica is the first to arrive. Finally! It seems like most of the time she's never the first. But ever since Nasuki joined, she feels a lot less relaxed. I, I don't get that though. Why am I so nervous? Monica paces, trying to figure out her feelings. Nasuki says she wasn't going to bother anyone, so why does it feel like the atmosphere has changed so much? While Monica thinks, the club door opens, revealing Natsuki carrying a box. So she's just gonna be like, yep, let me just put my feelings aside. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Monica forces a smile as Natsuki makes her way to the closet. Forces. Natsuki forces one in return, so they're both not happy. That's what you're telling me. Come on, like come on, y'all need to y'all need to talk. You need some help? No, I got it. Monica awkwardly tries to start some kind of conversation, but initially fails. You know she fails in conversation. Curious, she peeks into the closet where Nosuke is stashing off her manga. One dough with school supplies, the shelves are now vibrant with bright colors and cute looking artwork. You know, the top shelf is pretty empty. Maybe we could keep it up there? I can't even reach up there. That would be so inconvenient, because I'm too short. Yeah, but... Monica sighs. The teacher is going to ask what all this manga is doing in here, and I have to tell him it's for the literature club. So? I don't see the problem. Dot dot dot. Monica backs off and slumps into a desk. Forget I said anything. What With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past few weeks is being sucked right out of the room. Because you can't get that Monica's literature? Like, come on. Monica, you got you're a terrible club president. Good afternoon, Sari. Oh, I didn't get what she was doing. Sari spins into the club room. Oh, I see someone's in a good mood. Yeah, because I have this. Sari brandishes a cookie wrapped in plastic. Of course, I found some money and got a cookie. Ooh, that's so pretty. As Sari trots over to the closet, the color of shelves catches her eye. Which one do I start with? Well, you can start by giving me a bite of that cookie if you want to think about touching my shit. No way! I saved all my luck to find that money. If you want an entry into my kingdom, you need to pay the tax, peasant. <laughs> Boo! Defeated, Sari unwraps her cookie and breaks off a piece for Nasuki. Then, Yuri silently walks into the club room. Monica glances at her with pleading eyes. Yuri returns a quick nod of understanding. I don't get what that even means. What what are you talk what are you trying to say, Monica? What are y'all two talking about? I don't get it. There's some secret tea going on and I don't like it. I don't like it. This is supposed to be a club. Y'all supposed to come together. Well, everyone's here now. Despite the club only having one more person than before, it somehow feels twice as lively. Okay, so I think today we should go over some potential club activities and see which ones we want to do first. We have four members now, so it would be, it'd be great if we found some stuff to do as a group. Does that sound good to everyone? I agree. Okay! No one else said anything. Okay, so I have some ideas of, own, of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone else's interests. Maybe we can each give a person a day to share their favorite kind of literature with everyone else. Well, 
maybe. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't I don't like that. Something tells me that Monaco glances at Yuri and Nasuki, who both appear very unwilling to even consider each other's interests. Maybe we could try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy, you know, equally. You know, like we all vote on a book to read, or something like that, something along those lines. I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests, rather than just stick to the things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Nasuki, didn't you say that you would go along with whatever the club wanted to do? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, but that doesn't make it okay for you to ignore everyone else's preferences. I like Sayori's suggestion. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, but... Hmm... Monica's voice trails off. Yeah, you're defeated. You can't say shit else. Although she let Natsuki join the club, Monica finds it incredibly difficult to relent to her demands. If Natsuki doesn't respect the club, why should Monica have to yield to Natsuki that's pinning on anything? I, I had a hard time reading that for some reason. Fourth grade reading level. I need to stay in school. Natsuki, are you sure that you don't have any other literature interests you could share with the club? I swear, I don't mind if you keep your mind in here, but I just... Natsuki cuts Monica off by suddenly standing up. Well, it's obvious that I'm not even wanted here, so I'm just going to leave. But I really would have appreciated you being more upfront about it. Okay, I think you're kind of jumping to conclusions here, but you're free to do whatever you want. Like, I don't care. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Natsuki shoot, shoots Monica a quick glare before walking straight out of the room. Dot, dot, dot. Monica, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm starting to see that shit that we, we saw from you in the actual, the real game. This is the, like, prequel, but I'm starting to see some of those, like, similarities. Oh, no. Sari runs after her, leaving just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica slumps down to a desk. Why am I such a jerk? It's written all over you. You're the main antagonist, remember? No, no, she's a jerk. She's making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking her firm hit. <laughs> Yuri just looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest cup she could find so that she doesn't have to participate. That's fucked up. Why do you think she would do that? Yo, Monica, you're, you're pissing me off right now. How does she expect me to give her respect when she has no respect for the club? Respect is, is the uh, title for this side story. Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not I'm not good at these things. Don't ask me. Monica sighs. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's not wrong to enforce the club vision. You know, like, people should join because they want to express their passion for literature. Or at least develop it. So maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence, afraid to accept her tentative conclusion. Uh, excuse me. Yuri looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to add anything. You can... Sorry. You can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make sense, because... Yuri can sit here and read whenever she wants, and that's her passion, but she, it's like, I know she has a problem with Monica, I mean Monica, with manga, but like, Yuri's literally doing the same thing if you don't, if you notice. She can sit here and do her reading by herself, that's her passion, and you could be okay with that, but you can't be okay with what Natsuki's doing? Like, I'm, I'm starting to see this, this is some bullshit right now. It, it does. It does? How? Well, I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the peace has been disturbed. Disturbing the peace? Come on. Can't do that, Monica. It's your club. You need to figure it out. Oh. Well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club, then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of voicing my frustration. And I guess guilt. It's like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Why is it the hardest to be rational during the times you need it the most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She has no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club. Your club. 
What demands did she make? She didn't make demands. She just said she wanted to read her manga. Like, ever since she brought her manga in there, that's when you started being a little unreasonable. How has she been? Yuri, now you're starting to piss me off, too. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. I... This is what I was talking about. It's because it's manga. They both do not like manga, so they think that Natsuki's being unreasonable. And no, I'm not just being biased because I like Natsuki the most. That's not it. It's like literally, she said it right there. Something as ridiculous. Key words here. Like, come on. The fact that you're even storing it for her should make her completely inde indebted to you. Well, you're right, but I don't know. Isn't it kind of harsh to say things like it's ridiculous and has no place here? Yes. If you ask me, yes. It's supposed to be a literature club. You're supposed to, that's part of literature, whether you want to believe it or not. Do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with it. So I assume you felt the same way about it. That's not true. Well, no, don't lie. Yes, it is. Recalling in her conversation confrontation with Natsuki, a realization starts to set in. Hmm. You might be right. No, she is right. I mean, if it was anything besides manga, would I really be acting like this? No the hell you wouldn't. Maybe I've just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the manga. I'm just really upset I would let myself do that. With a sigh, Monica walks over to the closet. She finds herself staring at the colorful shelves. It's just, this really wasn't really what I had in mind for a club about literature. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defending her position once again. It's a complicated issue that Monica has failed to consider before now. Where is the line even drawn at what's considered literature? Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger boxes and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Yeah, I mean... Amused by the absurdity of the cover, Monica opens the book. Oh, oh, so you're gonna start reading it? And that's how you... How do you end the freaking... That part one by actually reading it? When, no, we're just gonna continue. Is this... Is this the next day or is this the same day? Is she gonna catch him? I think this is the same day. Is she gonna catch Monica reading her shit? Maybe. I. We'll find out. This sucks. Why is Monica such a jerk? She should be grateful that I even joined her stupid club. It's not like she could find any members. Damn, that's fucked up. Monica's usually really nice. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Obviously not. Yeah, right. Well, she usually does. Maybe when she's not being busy, being so judgmental. So what if I'm in a manga? Why can't one person accept that instead of being so condescending about it? I accept it because you are level-headed. Even though you're a bit, you know, clumsy sometimes, you know, a bit of a ditz ball, you're level-headed. Yuri and Monica, I can't say the same about them. I think it's cute. Oh, come on. That's condescending too. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to support you. Natsuki sighs. I know. Thanks. It just really sucks. So she's so she's accepting the fact that she is being called cute right now because usually she doesn't like that. Do you want me to talk to Monica? I don't know. It's not like I'm going to change her opinion of me. Like, even if you were to convince her to back off, that wouldn't suddenly make me feel like I'm actually welcome in the club. I should just find another club. Wait! No, you don't have to do that! We can figure this out. Please? Pretty please? Like, I want you here. I mean, I am the vice president. Or at least I think I am. That's what she told me. And I don't want you to leave. Everyone deserves to feel welcome. And to be happy. So, I want to make that happen for you. So she's going to step up? Oh, this is going to be good to see. Hmm. Um, I was wondering, what was the reason that you decided to join the literature club in the first place? Well, 
Natsuki hesitates. It's kind of dumb. Don't say that. I, just, I don't know why I did that, but I read it. There's no such thing as a dumb reason when everyone is welcome. I wasn't welcome, as you can see. You were to me, so you could tell me. Mm. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Especially Monica's bitch ass. I promise. I'm, I'm just tired of everyone judging me all the time. Like, this happens usually. I can't enjoy any of the stuff I'm into without people making snotty comments about it. Not that I care about what anyone thinks. <laughs> Here, that's classic Natsuki right here. But you know, the signs for the literature club said you can be yourself or whatever. So I decided it was at least worth a shot. But that was a lie, apparently. Natsuki dejectedly kicks the toe of her shoe against the wall. That probably hurt. Oh, and I like writing too. Really? How come you didn't say that to Monica? Because she was being so judgmental that I didn't I didn't just want to tell her something she wanted to hear. She didn't deserve that kind of satisfaction. And I knew if she was she knew I was into writing, then she would just be like everyone else and try to push me away from Monica in favor for the more mature thing. Hmm, I see what you're saying. The two of them remain silent for a while. Sari understands that it's out of the question for Nasuki to return to the club room, for today at least. But Nasuki has a reason for wanting to join the club, just like everyone else. It's part of the club vision for her to be welcomed. You deserve to express yourself just as much as anyone else does. That's supposed to be what the club is for. That's what she told me, so... I'm going to do everything I can to fix this. Sayori's taking charge? That's not like her. I mean, in a way it is, but it isn't. I promise. Oh my gosh. She's taking charge. I like this. It's lunchtime the next day. The, cafeter the cafeteria and hallways are bustling with students rushing to meet their friends and make the most out of their limited, limited break time. Why can't I talk right? Come on. Get it together. Where could she be? Among them is Monica, who always eats lunch in her classroom, but she has some additional business today. Fearing Natsuki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decided to try and find her during lunch so that she could make amends. What did she say to Yuri after we left them two? After searching for an extensive time, Monica finally spots her. Despite her short stature, <laughs> Natsuki's bright hair helps her stand out from the crowd. Oh gosh. Suddenly feeling awkward, Monica is afraid to get closer. Yeah, you don't want to get punched. She knows she will punch you. Natsuki is with some friends whom Monica doesn't recognize, and they're all energetically chatting together. It would be really tactless to just interrupt them. Oh, they actually show... They show the figure of who that is? We won't... We probably won't figure out who that is. Oh, yeah. Did you end up joining that literature club? Or what? Huh? Of course I joined. Why wouldn't I? Ha! I told you she would join. <laughs> Come on. You know she only joined because you wouldn't stop giving her crap about the anime club. I told you. I never even wanted to join that stupid club. Oh, sure. Well, you have to give her some credit for at least making an effort to finally grow past that trash. <laughs> well, true. Well, congrats on finally graduate, graduating middle school, Natsuki. We're proud of you. So, I'm, they're making jokes like, she, she probably won't take this into offense because these are her friends. Uh, shut up and just let me do my thing. I'm just joking. You know we love you. Yeah, once the literature club makes you a famous writer, we'll be the first ones to buy your book. What? You're going to buy her smutty fan fiction? <laughs> well, obviously, I want a signed copy. That was like years ago. You don't think I've grown out of it by now? I told you I was joking. Besides, it's a good reminder how far you've come since then. So they knew her for a while now. Not to mention you couldn't have done it without us. That gave us the pass to joke about it. Yeah, sure, whatever. They grew up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. Natsuki suddenly glances in Monica's direction, prompting Monica to quickly turn away and distance herself. Uh-oh, is Natsuki going to get up? 
What the heck? That was horrible. I should have said something to defend her. Why do I have to be so conflict avoidant? Not that the, I deserve to say anything. I'm hardly better than them after the way I treated her. Ugh, I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right as my position at president. I should just give up. After school ends, Monica dis distractedly makes her way to the club room. She finds Yuri already inside, eyes on a book as well. Oh, as usual. Monica picks a desk and slumps into it, something she seems to be doing rather often lately. Yuri, I don't think I could be club president. Wait, I was joking when I said she should give up. I didn't think she would actually say that. I suck at handling everything that doesn't go like exactly my way. That's kind of true though, because in the beginning we, we did kind of see that with, with Sayori too. Yuri looks up from her book. It's like the literature club is a place where you get to express yourself. Unless it's in a way that I don't even like. I'm so mad at myself. And I'm especially mad that I didn't have the self-reflection skills to realize what I was doing. So much for maturity. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining out loud like this. There's just like a ton on my mind. No. Hmm? I enjoy listening. Even though you need to be apologizing too because you said the same shit as Monica. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? Yuri shrugs. It's just, it makes me feel nice. Well, okay. I guess I'll just continue then. I'll continue ranting to you. Yuri nods. Yeah. It's just, well, Natsuki has kind of a blunt attitude, you know? It made me feel like she wasn't taking the club seriously. I couldn't even figure out why she wanted to join. I saw her friends talking to her in the hallway during lunch, and they were just so mean to her. Telling her to grow up and stuff like that. That the literature club would help her grow out of her manga. It just made me so mad. Like, just let her enjoy it. It makes her happy. Why are you trying to take that away from her? Oh, now you're trying to see what the hell she was trying to say to you. That's exactly what you were saying. The stuff that they were saying. But the thing is, I don't think they meant it that way. I don't know. And when I thought it, is when I came to the realization that I was kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, uh-huh. Now you get it, huh, bitch? I should have made her feel good about being passionate about something. But I just dismissed it. No. I was actually trying to avoid acknowledging it at all. I even did that with you, Yuri. When you first joined the club. You did that with everybody. You did that with Yuri. You did that with freaking Sarah. You did that even to yourself when you first, before you had anybody to join. You, you did? Yeah, I remember. Fantasy isn't really my thing, so I, I kind of was just trying to dismiss it. But then Sayori jumped in and took over the conversation. It seems like Sayori has to save your ass once after all. From everybody. If it wasn't for her, you wouldn't have no members in this damn club. I should have reflected on that. But I didn't. Because I just let Sayori handle it instead. And now, I'm repeating the same mistake. Except I really hurt someone this time. Monica shakes her head. I'm so tired of being afraid of things that I'm not comfortable with. It's just so stupid. Like, I could just picture how much joy it would bring Natsuki if I let her share her passion a little. I'm so angry that her friends were treating her like that. I'm going to get them back for it. What the hell are you going to do? Get them back? Yeah. I'll get them back. By making sure this is what the literature club that Natsuki wants. Not the one that they want. Suddenly, Sayori bursts through the door, making Monica and Yuri jump. With a rare, stern face, she marches over to Monica's desk and sits down next to her. Oh, this is where she's about to... Oh my gosh. This is the wrong time to do this, but of course she didn't know because she was just talking to Natsuki, right? I'm having an intervention. <laughs> I can't even take that. Uh, I can't even take Sayori seriously when she's trying to be mad. I can do that because I'm vice president. Is this about Natsuki? Yes. Yeah, I figured. I messed up. I'm super sorry. I was just talking to Yuri about it. Really? So I don't have to do this shit at all now? I was so dismissive of her passion that she felt threatened and probably just unwelcome. Literally the opposite of what the literature club is supposed to be. I really need to make it up for, to her. Oh. 
Well, yeah, I did it. No, you didn't do shit. <laughs> Thanks for the intervention, Sayori. I'm glad we're on the same page. Friendship wins again. So, how do you want to make it up to her? I have a plan. Sayori, do you know if Natsuki is co coming to the club meeting today? She... I don't think she is. I see. Monica was afraid of that. Not because of her plan, but because she's facing the consequences of the damage that she's inadvertently caused. But the only way to do the right thing is to face it head on. It's so easy to just duck away from the conflict and wait for it to blow over. But that's not enough. To truly respect someone's feelings after you've hurt them is to face them and admit your wrongdoing. Not the wrongdoing of mismanaging the club, but the wrongdoing of disrespecting Natsuki's feelings. Yeah, you can't do that to my girl. <laughs> they all mine. Let me what? Stop. Okay, do you think you can get her to the club meeting tomorrow? I can do that. Okay, awesome. Yuri, you don't have to worry about anything. But thank you for just being my friend. You're a good listener. Mm. Fidgeting with her hair, Yuri turns away to hide a smile. Well, I guess that's for it for today. It's going to be a pretty quiet club meeting. I'm going to step out for a bit. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm just going to read with Yuri. Hey, is this one of Natsuki's books? How come it's out here? Monica's reading that shit. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Sari picks up a manga that was resting on an adjacent desk. Oh, that, um, Natsuki probably just left it out by accident. No, she fucking didn't. Nope. But I thought she hasn't been coming to the club. He's starting to realize it, huh, Natsuki? Actually, Monica's been... <laughs> Yo, she was about to tattle on your ass. Okay, Yuri, I'm sure it was just someone else who was just using the classroom then, okay? Probably giving her a wink-wink like, yeah, keep it quiet. <laughs> she don't know what to say. Monica smiles at them both. Yo. Then with a wave, she exits the club room. <laughs> She said, I gotta get out of here quick before I get this freaking awkward attention on me. <laughs> Yo, I really shouldn't have left that out. If Sayori catches on, she'll definitely tell Natsuki, and that would get really awkward. But isn't that what you want to fix things? Now, I wonder if there's a keyboard I can borrow from the music room. Oh, shoot. The music room. We already know about what you do in the music room. The time for the next club meeting has already arrived. Monica and Yuri are the first to arrive. I'm so worried. Do you think Sayori is going to be able to bring Natsuki? Yes. How do you know? She doesn't. Well, she's Sayori. Hmm? You know, you're right. Both of y'all should know. She's helped both of y'all. Time slowly passes. Monica sits, then stands up to pace around, and then sits again. Yuri's eyes don't move from her book, though. <laughs> then, the door finally opens. Sayori marches inside. Behind her, Natsuki shuffles inside, nervously looking around the room. She's like, um, she's like, hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have problems. I need to be checked out. We're here! Welcome back. Monica, the club president. Why do they have to freaking... Why do they have to freaking say the club president like we don't know that? It's because... <laughs> Good work, y'all. Stands up and greets them with a smile. Sari picks up a desk and takes a seat. Natsuki sits closely next to her. Looking back and forth between the club members, Monica is struck with a nostalgic feeling. She was stand. Hold on. A nostalgic feeling? What does that mean? I she would stand at the front of the club room just like this, struggling to picture just who may be eventually sitting before her. But imagination was never enough to predict how just how unique and diverse each member would be. Each were their own struggles, her reasons for seeking vision that Monica had admittedly so vaguely advertised. Seeking trust? Understanding, respect, <laughs> trust, Sayori, understanding, Yuri, and now respect, Nasu. I gotta clap it up. Like, this game is still continuing to impress me. 
what new lessons would a future hold for the literature club? So she's teaching, they're teaching Monica the things she didn't have. That's what you're telling me. Realizing she's getting ahead of herself, Monica takes a deep breath and returns to the present. Okay, everyone. She finally gets to say that. The literature club is starting. We have an activity planned for today. Monica turns around to face the chalkboard. On it, she writes manga in big letters. That's a shock. Today, we're going to learn from an expert about a unique form of literature. Manga. This is her plan. I, I forgot she said she had a plan. Oh, come on! Is this, isn't this kind of forced? I know you don't actually want to do this. So just... Monica shakes her head. Nasuki, this is the hardest part. After making it this far, it would be so easy to just smile and move on. But that's not enough. Not this time. I'm sorry. It was wrong of me not to take you seriously when you were kind enough to show interest in my club. I thought about it and realized how biased I was against manga. It caused me to disrespect you, and I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. But I think you deserve to be able to share your passion with us. So, can I make it up to you? Well, thanks, but... I know you're only doing this because Sierra told you to. Wait, that's not even true! Monica planned this all by herself. I didn't even get a chance to talk to her. I was a witness to that as well. This is the Literature Club. The Literature Club is a place where everyone gets to be themselves. We all have our own interests and our differences. It's my vision to let us freely express that. And it's my goal to respect everyone for them. So I just want to learn about the things that make you happy. I think that you deserve to share that joy just as much as everyone else does. Is that okay? Nasuki looks away and hesitates. But it's really dumb. The stuff I'm into. Monica smiles. She kneels in front of Nasuki's desk, looking her straight in the eye. If you like it, then it can't be that dumb. Oh, except for me. <laughs> Sierra, you're not dumb either. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta calm down. Ooh, yo, come on. What the heck? You guys are so weird. Fine, I'll show you some of my manga. Only because you admitted that it is literature after all. Nasuki stands up. Oh yeah, I didn't say this before, but I'm actually into writing. I'm kind of a pro, but I didn't want you to like me just for that. Really? I really did have you all wrong, Asuki. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Today's not about that anyway, right? It's about manga, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> Yo. A week has passed since Nasuki returned to the literature club. Since then, the club activities have been in full swing. Each club member had, re had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. As another meeting draws to a close, Monica approaches Nasuki on the way out. Nasuki, are you in a hurry home or anything? Me? Not particularly. Why? Oh, there was just something that I wanted to show you, if you had a few minutes. Sure, what is it? It's not in here. Can you follow me to the music room? The music room? Why? You'll see. Just follow me. Dang, do what I say. This is how the music room looks. You know, they did kind of give us a glimpse of what the music room looked like in the in the mod, but it's kind of, it's quaint though. You know, I was thinking back when the club was just me and Sayori, we would talk about how we envisioned the club to turn out. We cared a lot about being a place where people can express themselves. And she said something strange to me. She said that I was trying to make the club that I needed myself more than anyone. But I think it wasn't until you joined that I finally understood that. Because you really taught a lot about myself. Things that I probably was always too stubborn to admit. You're finally getting it through your thick ass skull. Oh come on. You can't even mean that. I didn't do anything. I just like brought a bunch of MAGA and then I got fussy when I didn't have my way. It was really stupid of me to make the biggest such- Ah! It was really stupid of me to make such a big deal out of it. 
No, I honestly needed that. If you didn't express that you were hurt, I would have never realized that I did something wrong. Besides, your feelings are valid. They deserve to be heard. And respected. Mm, dot, dot, dot. It's just really hard to feel that way sometimes. You know, like, I really shouldn't care what other people think in the first place. But when you're just criticized by everyone around you for being a certain way, it can get really hard to brush it off. I feel that. Like, I, I really feel that. And it makes me start to feel like I'm the problem. She's speaking real facts. Like, I'm not doing enough to please everyone else. Am I being too entitled if I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about my stuff? I don't think I am. I just wish that sometimes people would try to appreciate me for who I actually am. Preach, Natsuki, preach. Let me get that down in the chat. Preach, Natsuki, preach. As Monica listens, she recalls vividly how Natsuki's friends were treating her and how naturally they did so. How long has she been fighting against that, refusing to change for others? I could only wish I could I was as strong as you are, Natsuki. Wait a minute. This is this is like a revelation to me right now. Maybe this is why I like Natsuki so much, because she refuses to change who she is, and she's not afraid to say that sometimes. And that's how I am as a person. Maybe that's why she's my favorite. See this this, I'm telling you, this is why I love this game. You're so honest with yourself. I'm like always trying to come off as perfect for other people. Anytime there's like a hint of contention, I just crumble. But it's thanks to you that I really started thinking about this stuff. You really inspired me to start working on it. But, I, well like I said, I didn't even do anything. You were just being yourself. That's all you needed to do. Also, there's something else. Hmm? Monica takes a breath. Uh, the thing is, I might have read a little bit of your manga. What? Y you? What the heck? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, I, I think I just felt like kind of embarrassed to admit it after I gave you such a hard time about it. <laughs> I can't believe you. Of all people, were reading my manga behind my back. That's so funny. Yeah, well, I just flipped through one of them out of curiosity, but I ended up reading a whole bunch of it. But I mean, one of the characters was in a literature club. What are the chances, right? Mm-hmm. You were reading Parfait Girls? Wow, you have good taste. Just, just one volume. And I kind of just picked it out randomly. Well, you have good intuition then. You have to tell me all your favorite parts. <laughs> well, I think it was just kind of some kind of weird fate. Because the character isn't just in the literature club. She also plays piano. You're starting to realize something, aren't you? It's just weird. Because I've always... I've always wanted to learn piano. I thought she was already taking... Is this where she pl starts to play piano? I could have sworn she was already doing piano. She was like the perfect person that I wish I always was if I just did what I wanted, instead of just second-guessing myself. Oh my gosh! Mo Monica walks over to the piano and sits down. Ooh! We get that cutscene, see? We we get this cutscene. Everyone, everyone in the side story gets one, so this is finally this the one. Ah, this is finally the one. I always felt like I should only share the absolute best parts of myself. The parts that will always impress people to make them like me more. But after you join the club, I realized how self-destructive that mentally is. We share things because we want to express ourselves. Sharing experiences allows us to share emotions. Look at Natsuki's face. And I just felt like I wanted to show you this. Because if it wasn't for you, I never would have started playing. Wow, so it really was Natsuki the way you start practicing piano all the time? Natsuki, you know I love you. Hey. I think the credit for that one goes to the Parfait Girls, not me. No. Well, maybe it's true that Parfait Girls put the thought in my head. But it was still you who inspired me to keep practicing every day. Every day? Because you know, you just, you make me feel like I want to do, if I want to do something, I should just do it. 
I mean, I still haven't been practicing for very long. And I'm not really good at it yet. Like, at all. But I wrote a song for the club. And I worked really, really hard on it. It doesn't have any words or anything, but... Yeah. Wait. So... Does this sound familiar? I'm trying to think. Does this song sound familiar? And I like how this is like moving. Look at Masuki's face. See? I love you. You're so cute. I know she doesn't like to hear that, but. Oh, this is going back to when they first met. I think this is what it's doing. This is so wholesome. Like, ah, my cheeks are burning. This is when they first met Yuri, too. Oh, my gosh. And that's when she was talking to Yuri after that. Uh, her and Sayori were, like, bumping heads a little bit. And then, yeah. Nasuki. I love you. <laughs> that, that signature face from Sayori. Is this the... This is that song, I think. I think. It sounds like... Uh, that's when she first came in. Okay, she's adding that because I don't think that's part of what I was thinking of. You know, that... That makes me so... That, like... Whew. So wholesome. I love this game. That's all. That was so good. It was? Yeah. Are you kidding? You're like already a pro. Not even close. Does the song have a name? You said it was about the club, so... Yeah. It's called My Song, Your Note. Okay, so I don't think... I don't think that's a song we knew of, but still. That sounded a little familiar a little bit. Because everyone brings something so unique to the club. It's completely different from how I first imagined it, I think. But it was like such a selfish perfectionist. It shouldn't be about me. It should be about everyone. And it's all of you who helped shape the club into what it is. I would never change that now. Now. Well, I think that's really thoughtful. And kind of flattering. I kind of feel like I don't deserve this much validation. It, I wasn't exactly very patient either when I first joined the club. It makes me feel like I should probably apologize too. I think I was just really fed up with a lot of things. And I got frustrated after not getting my way in the club. So, yeah. I really didn't mean to take it out on you. I was just being really immature. <laughs> If you get my stubborn butt to apologize, I guess you're doing something right. I'm fine. I'm past it too. I think we're even. But it's really sweet that you were thinking about it. It takes a lot of maturity to reflect on that kind of thing. Something you didn't have until now. Well... Well, I wonder who I got that from. Hmm? Oh, never mind. Wait, was she trying to say that she... Ooh, I think I know she she was either talking about her dad or Oh my gosh, she Well anyway, we're even as long as you let me keep my manga in the club room. You did admit that it's a form of literature. You can't take that back now. You got me. The closet's all yours. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll bring in a little something for the club tomorrow. Cupcakes? She's talking about cupcakes. I want to do something nice in return. What kind of little something? Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed. She's talking about cupcakes. She has to be. The next club meeting ends up being a particularly tasty one. Don't tell me you stop it. No! You stop it there! I was having so much fun with this. You know what? You know what I'm probably going to do? Since I was having so much fun with this part... We're probably going to, well, obviously I'm going to end this video here, but I'm probably going to record the next side stories after 
after I end this one because I'm just having so much fun with it because but I might not post it like after I might uh, you'll see what I do with it if you guys enjoyed this video because I definitely did make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next one I'm out peace